All right, all right, all right. It's great to be back in the fourth floor conference room. <laughs> There's a whole lot of casting going on, and uh, it's all very exciting stuff. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get this party started. Give me a break. I'm 90 freaking years old. Okay. <laughs> it's a star. I'm concerned that he's a, a little broad. But I like broad. Honestly, Mike, I love this project. Love it. I really do. Frankly, original scares me a little. Should we talk about the script? Yeah. Is it absolutely necessary that the brother commit suicide? The suicide, to me, has always been kind of the premise for everything that happens. What if it weren't? Sorry? Hey, Mark. Action! It's like he's got only two modes. He's like way over the top. When I try to bring him down, he's Travis Bickle. Taxi driver. Mm. You've never seen Taxi Driver? I know. And when the person you look up to the most kills himself? She'll pull the plug if I don't use Zach. Seriously? Man, I love acting. There's some concern at the network. What? What if the brother didn't kill himself? Um. Suicide is depressing to like 82% of everybody. And the show's too personal. I'd rather not do it than do it badly. Am I crazy? I'm six months pregnant, right? You're not worried about having a job? If I don't stand up for my show, nobody will. You look like a lawyer. You look real. I don't like circle cut. You do a little bit. I think that Jesse has fake breasts, and I believe that over the life of a series, the audience can feel that. Seems to me that the only way to counter them is to go with an actual scripted series with characters and stories and things. We're all just trying to make the best possible show and get it on the air. If I don't worry about the content of my show, then I'm part of the problem. I'm making the world more mediocre. I think that you're overstating the situation just a little bit. But you never see Taxi Driver. I am going to rent the Taxi Driver, okay? And, uh... <laughs>